Hey, what's up, FedEx team? Wanted to shoot this video to let you guys know about some very, very important changes that Facebook has made in the last two weeks and give you guys a clue of where uh, Facebook was going. And to kind of give you a backstory, when Facebook just came out with their advertising, you know, all the marketers and everybody would pay to get an ad in front of somebody. When they clicked it, they would send them to a lead capture. And that's been the name of the game for the last, you know, couple years. Problem is, Facebook doesn't care about marketers. They care about the consumer experience. And basically, if you're on Facebook and you click something and you go to a lead capture like we're doing now, and the audience, you know, doesn't like the experience, they blame it on Facebook. So what they're moving towards is sending people to like a blog or some sort of page where it's not immediate opt-in that they get something of value from you first and when they land there you're able to drop a pixel into that person's um, browser or you know basically Facebook will pixel them and then keep track of that person within the ads platform we'll get to that in a second so you send them to a page they get pixeled and then you retarget the people that visited that page to then make your lead capture offer. And Facebook will charge you a whole lot less because you have already taken some sort of intent and interacted with you first. So two things. One is the way that Facebook is going is they're now going to be send, encouraging people to send you somewhere first, like a blog that has no... Um, intent so to speak and then build a custom audience and then retarget them so if they go to the blog and they don't like the experience they blame the blog and not Facebook if that makes sense uh, second thing is Facebook now is able to pixel people that watch your videos so you can create custom audiences of people that watch your videos and then only retarget them to the people that watch your videos again that have interacted you some way first so how does this apply to real estate? And ask me any questions, you guys, because at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm uh, saying things like custom audience and pixels that, <clears throat> you know, you guys don't do this every day. So how does this apply to real estate? So one way that it applies is on these listings right now, we're, we're getting people to a lead capture. And I'm going to show you, if you look on your screen right now, we have Middletown uh, Showcase Listing, right? Here you'll see we get 309 post engagements at 11 cents each, and we're at 33 dollars. And let's see here, where's my email? So we type in You know, right now we've had seven people, but one guy was twice. So, and then he put in bad info. So let's just say five leads, 33 bucks, six bucks a lead. Not great, not bad. Um, but as you'll see, we got five leads, but we got 309 post engagements at 11 cents an engagement. So that means, you know, right now we're converting, you know, very low uh, percentage wise. And let's see how many. I'm sorry, this video is long. I just think it's easier to show you guys stuff. Well, as I go there, um, we're converting, you know, like 1% to 2%. And we could be doing a lot better. And I'm going to show you where I think. So within the next six months, Facebook's going to be pretty much exclusively going to want you to send traffic to something that's not making them an immediate opt-in offer uh, first. Let's see how many. Um... So here in the last one, two, three and a half days, we've gotten about 540 people and five leads. So we're converting here at 1%, right? So that's not really that good. Cost per lead is good. Conversion's not. Okay, so 309 post engagements, but we've really, to that page, have gotten 550 people 
for 30 bucks. And that's the great thing about Facebook. So what's the new strategy? The new strategy is going to be promoting your listings on Facebook, sending them to your property sites, pixeling those people, and then the follow-up campaign is we make so we give them a free property and they can there's calls to actions on the page so they can still, you know, turn into leads. So we're going to get those 550 people to the same, you know, property info that they wanted, pixel them and then do an ad that retargets just the people that went to look at that property and the next thing do an ad to make them for a list of properties, you know, in and around that area. Um, hopefully that makes uh, a little bit of, of sense. The cost per leads goes way down. The 550 people get what it is that they wanted. It's a much more pleasurable experience. And then we just come around. Custom audience means it's just really a follow-up offer to people that visited your website. Um, and then the other thing right now is Facebook is really going hard promoting um, video ads. And we are getting anywhere from one to three cents per video view. And they can now in the last two weeks pixel the people that watch your videos. So if you did a market report or um, did a video that's like face to camera that tells them that they should go to your blog for really good information or go to your property website to check out a property. As long as they watch the video for three seconds, they get pixeled and then you can follow up uh, campaign them. So, but at the end of the day, one to three cent video views. So you can really target in and get a video in front of your um, geographic farm, so to speak. And people can watch you and see you and interact with you for a penny to three pennies of view. I don't know any way to get in front of more people at a cheaper price. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the changes in Facebook, where they're headed. Uh, the website click days are over. We need to have a different strategy of video to blog and then retarget with the best uh, follow-up offer. So let me know what questions you have and hopefully that made sense.